<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You're listening to me, Ethan Van Skyver, grizzled 30-year veteran of the comic book industry, and this right here uh, is my pencil of scorn, uh, handed to me by my battle-damaged Cyberfrog action figure, which of course you can back on the Electric Blue Cyberfrog action figure campaign. Look, look at his feet. Isn't that great? Uh, link is in the description below. Hey, I got um, <laughs> got this sent over to me on Twitter this morning. Uh, I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, Marvel artist Mark Brooks. Is he still Marvel? I guess like he's over working for Todd McFarlane on Spawn now. I don't know if he's still working for Marvel or not. I have no idea. I don't really pay any attention. But he is intensely interested uh, in Comicsgate and uh, what we're doing over here. Not in a good way. It's not as though he wants to be our friends and collaborate with us and support uh, the creation of independent comic books or anything like that. No, he feels like it seems to me like he's really threatened by the existence uh, of Comicsgate and of uh, the independence, um, the autonomy that goes along with being Comicsgate. Uh, and he lashes out in the weirdest way. Uh, he seems to think that like everybody online, like he's, he's arguing with Lombarsi here. He's arguing with a guy named Jolly Green. I don't know. I know who Lombarsi is, kind of like I've spoken with him. Uh, he seems like a nice fellow. I don't know who Jolly Green 2854 is, though. Have no idea. But Mark Brooks seems to think that this is Dale Keown. And I'm fairly sure this isn't Dale Keown because Dale Keown barely knows how to work Twitter. I mean, I love <laughs> uh, Marvel classic artist Dale Keown. Let me explain who he is. Uh, Dale Keown is one of the greatest, incredible Hulk artists that ever lived uh, in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. His run on The Incredible Hulk with Peter David is widely considered to be the single greatest Hulk uh, run in comics. I mean, it is just uncontested at this point. Uh, and uh, Dale Keown, of course, has done a lot of like artwork for the Hulk. When the Hulk movies are coming out, they always go to him and ask him to do the promo art. He really is like the ultimate uh, Hulk artist of all time. And then he went over to Image Comics around 1992 and did a book called Pit, uh, which sold something like six or 700,000 copies. I mean, still to this day, the, the sales of those uh, comic books back in the 1990s are untouchable. Uh, and uh, now he's here. He's with Comicsgate. He's doing covers for us. He's a Canadian, but I think he's kind of conservative and wasn't really happy um, with what Marvel had to offer him. So he's with us, and he's going to do Pit again. He's actually going to release an omnibus of all of his Pit comic books uh, in one great big volume. You can sign up for that. Uh, you can find that pretty easily. I think the campaign is on Indiegogo. Uh, and, uh, and then he's going to do some new Pit books. This is driving Mark Brooks crazy. Mark Brooks, like I said, is obsessed with us. And uh, I'm going to go through this and just read this. Uh, the, I don't know. These uh, tweets got sent to me here. Lombardi says, uh, I feel like cataloging garbage tier that's not how to spell it. it's not cataloging like the logging industry uh, i think that would be spelled l-o-g-u-i-n-g right uh in case he deletes it because it's uncool why is he on a vendetta this week and what did dale ever do to him nothing what i mean he like nothing dale keown has done nothing to mark brooks but be super polite to him as mark brooks insults him mark's got this attitude mark of course a cover artist from Marvel, somebody who does a lot of cut and paste work. Seems like he copies and traces a lot of his stuff from photo reference. Um, I compare him to like Greg Horn back uh, in the early 2000s with this kind of photorealistic painted uh, style, but uh, Greg Horn's stuff had a, a better design sense. It had a better sense of humor to it. I don't know what Mark Brooks is doing really, but he's fine. I don't want to insult his art style. But Jolly Green goes... Uh, a relevant cover artist talking about, I think talking about Del Keown, a uh, relevant, not irrelevant, a relevant cover artist. Uh, and um, <laughs> Mark Brooks says, yup, I sure am, Dale. I actually sell books. Uh, so uh, <laughs> right here we establish that like Mark Brooks thinks Jolly Green is Dale Keown. And I mean, I guess he could be because like you might make that mistake because his name is Jolly Green. That sounds like it's the Hulk. It's the green giant here, of course, the uh, uh, the canned vegetables spokesperson. But maybe, you know, you might think if you're... <laughs> but I mean, that's just not who Dale Keown is. And this isn't how he talks. And he would never he would never call himself a relevant cover artist. He's so humble. He just wouldn't do that. You know, Dale, if you come and watch our Comicsgate Kings 
uh, live stream that we do every uh, Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, you'll get to know Dale Keown. He's a really, really soft-spoken guy. Very funny. He does like to drink. He loves to crush on the female comic skaters. He's a lot of fun. Uh, Jolly Green goes, get back to work or go to bed, Mark. It's This is happening at 1 a.m. You're kidding me. Uh, Mark Brooks comes back. Uh, you're a comic artist, Dale. You know our workday doesn't start until 4 p.m. What? My workday starts at 6 a.m. <laughs> I don't know about you. I get up and I start drawing until the kids come home at 3. And then it's all like shipping and uh, from there at nighttime. Nighttime is when we do live streams. Uh, and Jolly Green goes, hold on a second. He goes, but if you still believe you're bullshit. This is how this clown talks to Dale Keown, who is deserving of respect. The only reason why Dale Keown has lost respect in Mark's eyes is because it's come out that he has um, slightly to the right of center politics, and he decided that he wanted to be comic skate. Uh, so now, suddenly, uh, somebody like Mark Brooks, who is... I mean, when I say Mark Brooks is an inferior artist to Dale Keown, I'm not expressing a degree, okay? I mean, that's that's not even a, an opinion. It's a fact. Um, but uh, most people are inferior artists to Dale Keown. I mean, most most people are. He is one of the greatest comic book artists uh, in the world. He, he is doing, he did do uh, a cover for Cyber Frog 3, Red Extermination, a beautiful wraparound cover. Uh, and, you know, in my opinion, that, that, that made my whole career. That was fantastic to see Dale Keown draw Cyberfrog and Salamandroid and Heather. Um, but this is why he gets no respect from Mark suddenly, uh, just because of his politics. And that is the, the situation in the, in the comic book industry. Uh, if, you are, uh, if you express right-leaning politics, you may want to be part of Comic Skate. And when you do that, uh, you are going to be treated as though you are uh, lower than pond scum by these people who actually are most of them lower than pond scum themselves. Uh, it is, it's weird. Uh, he says, but if you still believe you're bullsh, what are you doing awake? Pissing in jars and drawing Mandy fan art? Mark Brooks, you watch all of our streams, don't you? <laughs> you watch, Mark is sitting there watching, all Mark, stop watching and join the club. Why don't you just stop it, vote for Trump in 2024 like a normal person, and uh, come join us on our live streams and have fun, even if you don't vote for Trump in 2024. Comic Skate is the most fun thing that's happening in comics right now. Uh, and the Jolly Green says, see what I mean about you being on Twitter all day? You just can't help yourself. Uh, Mark says, I've been on Twitter for the first time today for the last hour. Put down the bottle, Dale. You're better than this. Uh, he is. It's because it's not <laughs> It's not Dale Keown. It's just some rando that Mark is like Mark is like Br'er Rabbit uh, in the now declared racist song of the South, a cartoon by Disney where uh, you know <laughs> there's like there's a, a tar baby. It's actually a baby made of tar. I think that's a racist kind of slur, but it literally is. Uh, a big lump of hot tar shaped like a baby uh, and Br'er Rabbit punches it because it won't talk to him it won't offer him respect that he feels he deserves he gets his fist caught and so then he punches it again he kicks it he kicks. before you know it he's all tangled up in tar because uh you know he didn't think he uh <laughs> he just he, he kind of made matters worse for himself every single time it's a lot like Mark Brooks here I think uh all right let me see you <laughs> wait uh, your Twitter habits, your Twitter habits are reaching Dan Slot levels. That's something else. Dan Slot, of course, uh, the uh, the writer of Spider Man, uh, and uh, Dan Slot responsible his behavior towards the fans responsible for uh, the birth of Comics Gate, a part of it, a big chunk of it. Uh, said the guy who's pissing his career away into a bottle. You could have been a legend. <laughs> By the way, I don't know what the pissing in a bottle thing is. I don't know if that actually happened or if that was just like uh, a joke or a misunderstanding. Uh, but there are YouTubers. When I first started in YouTube doing live streams, there would be guys who took live streaming so seriously that they would have a two liter Pepsi bottle empty next to them so that they could, if they had to pee during a two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour live stream, they would just urinate under the table into the bottle so that they wouldn't have to get up and leave. Guys, you can just get up and leave. Like, excuse me, I'm going to use the men's room. Uh, feel free to just take a break 
uh, go off camera and use the, uh, the, the, the potty like a grown person. Uh, I think that whole, I don't know if this is real, if Dale actually fell into that trap too, like I, I better pee into a bottle, uh, like he's on the space shuttle or something. <laughs> but anyway, that seems to be the uh, the rumor that Mark believes here. He says, you could have been a legend. He is, Mark. He is a legend. It's already done. Like Dale, Dale Keown already is a legend. The die has been cast. There's nothing you can do about it. The work has already been done. People have already been influenced. Everybody's already been entertained. It's already wrapped up. That whole thing is finished, my friend. Uh, he says, you're an unfortunate footnote. As someone that admired you at one point, it's really sad. All of this is the kind of peer pressure. Look at this ugly. Like, this is so presumptuous. Mark, again, I don't know. Like, your career is not set in stone the way Dale's is. Like, Dale already did this. Mark Brooks, uh, whether you like his artwork or not, like has not produced anything yet um, that he'll be remembered for. And I, you know, that's kind of sad to have worked this long and not produced anything except for kind of uh, work a day sort of, you know, jobber <laughs> covers for like widely reviled Marvel uh, events. Um, but he hasn't really done anything uh, where people will go, Mark Brooks. Oh, yeah, man. He's the guy who did this. Oh, that changed. That was so great. Like, I loved comics again when I read that. Now, I have. I've done Flash Rebirth, Green Lantern Rebirth, Sinestro Corps. I am also a legend, of course, uh, by comic book uh, professional standards. I've done things to be remembered for that people are, you know, widely considered to be popular that still sell. Uh, and obviously, Dale Keown is like a stratosphere uh, beyond where I am. Uh, but Mark Brooks hasn't done that. And yet, as someone that admired you at one point, it's really sad. I would say, um, Mark, probably this guy here and this guy here could say the same thing about you, uh, acting like a hateful clown on Twitter. These guys are fans, and they, to you, are you to Dale. You understand? Like, you're a little guy compared to Dale, and these guys would be, sorry, fellas, little guys compared to you. They would be fans looking up to you, except... um you're pissing your career away on Twitter um, by picking fights with uh, the fans. And it is sad. And you think you're, the sad thing is you think this is Dale Kim. And, and here we go. For the record, I'm not Dale K. I just, uh, I guess I just have his art on my account. Sad that you'd call people out when you're not sure who they are. See, this isn't how Dale Keown talks at all. Uh, Dale is on Ballers. That's his uh, show that he does with Mandy and with Patrick Thomas um, Parnell and with uh, Shane Davis. Dale is on Ballers right now, so he couldn't be tweeting at you. Uh, Mark says, not sure if that was English, but okay. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, he says again, I'm not Dale. Dale is on his YouTube show called Ballers right now. That's simplified. You're proving my point. In your never-ending quest to win 15 hours worth of Twitter fights a day, you're taking low-blow cheap shots at innocent people who don't even know who you are. So actually, yeah, this guy's like, uh, I don't, I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't know who you are. I'm just messing with a guy who's a Marvel artist. That's even sadder. That is even more sad when you try to flex your status on people who uh, don't have any idea who you are. Uh, Lombarsi comes back. Hey, I'll have fun, Jolly Green. Don't let this chump gaslight you. He's the gift that keeps on giving like crap. So I had to like that. I click like on that one. Crabs is a gift? You're a big fan of genital crabs? Weird but okay? <laughs> you are the definition of a case of crabs. <laughs> Mark goes back, that's an alcoholic's insult. It sounded good in your head, but landed with a thud. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't know if it was like the ultimate insult, but it was pretty funny. Uh, and Jolly Green says, uh, this is why you're not a writer. Uh, to which Mark says, lol, you're about to be really mad in a few months. So in other words, Mark is saying that finally, Mark is going to do what I said, uh, and he's going to actually do his own comic book, presumably his own interiors too. You know, I said to him, uh, I've, I've criticized his work in various ways. I said, uh, you know, your, your work uh, is basically a bunch of paper dolls slapped down over a background out of perspective. It's not, there's no design sense to what you're doing. It's clear. Uh, that you uh, put the cart before the horse and when you when you create a comic book cover and thus your comic book covers are ineffective and strange. 
Uh, and he responded to all of that. He, in an interview with Todd McFarlane, he kind of, you know, acknowledged my, and those criticisms weren't meant to be hateful. They, you know, they were meant with like, this is honest criticism. Like, this is a real problem. Like, you, you really do need to work on uh, your covers a little bit more. Uh, and I also said to him, you, you know, all you are is a cover artist. They're forgettable. They're not important. And here he is. He's like, well, I'm going to crowdfund. I guess he's going to, he's either going to crowdfund a comic or he's doing a, he's doing a creator own comic book for somebody. Maybe Todd McFarlane, maybe Image. Maybe he's doing it with himself. I really don't know. Uh, and uh, this fellow says, uh, who is this? Uh, Jolly Green says, it's only taken you 52 years for you to write something. Wow. How old is Mark? It's Mark. He goes 50, but who's counting? Mark, are you 50 years old, dude? Huh. I thought Mark was younger than me. I'm 48 years old. I didn't know he was 50. 50, once I hit 50, I'm like, uh, oh boy, I'm an old man. I'm still in my 40s. I'm young and spry. Uh, <laughs> 50, but who's counting? And I'll sell more copies than you ever did. Now, again, if Mark is talking to Jolly Green, then that's true. Okay. If, if like Mark is talking to whoever Jolly Green actually is, probably that's true because Jolly Green is saying that he's a, an amateur comic book creator. Um, if Mark thinks he's talking to Dale Keown here still, he is delusional. Uh, Dale Keown has sold, and I mean, it is impossible. It is literally impossible in this day and age for anyone to sell as many comic books as Dale Keown did in his career. There just aren't enough retailers. There aren't enough customers. Dale Keown's pit number one alone, again, 600, 700,000 copies sold. Uh, and that's not to mention his work on the Hulk and then the, the countless times uh, that his work has been reprinted over and over and over again. There's, there's no way. Mark, I'm sorry, like not even in your wildest dreams will you sell more copies than Dale Keown did. It just won't happen. Uh, and uh, again, uh, he goes, you still, <laughs> you still wear Converse. Grow up. Does he wear Converse? <laughs> you still wear Converse. This is a great, like, just sort of, like, insult out of nowhere. And I, you know, uh, I love it. It's so funny. These guys are just running Mark Brooks ragged. And I, I don't know why he does this. Mark, work on your comic, dude. Work on your comic like I am. Like, I, I honestly wish uh, Mark would just kind of chill. Like, I'm, I'm over here working on the next issue. Look at this. Next issue of Cyber Frog. I, I'm drawing. I'm, I'm getting my work done. I'm barely, uh, I barely have time to goof around on Twitter always have time to make videos um but uh yeah get, get your work done he goes are you hallucinating now haven't worn converse since i was in my 20s <laughs> why is this oh mark oh mark why <laughs> dude you're reaching it's super weird and you respond to it I mean, you don't just go, what do you mean? Like, are you saying that a 50-year-old can't wear Converse? Why not? <laughs> like, you just go, no, you acknowledge that, like, wearing Converse is immature. I don't know why he thinks you wear Converse, but whatever. That was funny. And Labarsi's just like, uh, you're a clown. Dale doesn't even know who you are. <laughs> Which is true. I mean, Dale only kind of knows who Mark is because uh, I made him sit through the video where I read out his tweets about a comic book writer stealing his chair. Uh, and uh, ignoring him, uh, he a whole series of kind of angry t uh, tweets about being disrespected. Uh, and uh, again, Mark Brooks responds emotionally um, to the idea that people don't know who he is. Like Mark really does have a a belief that he is an important person in comics, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So he's just like, cool, don't care. Uh, most people don't know who Dale is. But they could. You're, he's a unique talent that's going to waste. Well, most people don't know who comic book creators are. They know who Stanley is. He, he's only Stanley is really the only breakout comic book professional celebrity ever. I think in history, I can't think of any more. Uh, but I'll tell you, they know Dale's work because Dale's Incredible Hulk work was all over everything. Like if you bought an Incredible Hulk beach towel. If you bought anything with the Incredible Hulk on it in the past, like, 20 years, it was Dale's art. Almost certainly it was Dale Keown's artwork. So they've seen his art. People have interacted with his art, and I think they've uh, they've appreciated it. Uh, it. It is really, really good. Uh, he says, you're, he's a unique talent that now he's starting to doubt. 
uh, that's going to waste. You can be as shitty as you want. Uh, wait, shitty to me as you want. You started this. Uh, but I'll always love Dale's work, no matter what asshole he crawls into. Wait a second. Didn't you just say before that, like, you weren't a fan and you didn't care anymore? Uh, Jolly Green says, why are you taking shots at innocent people not even in this conversation? Classless. Yeah, Dale isn't talking here. What is your problem with Dale Keown exactly? He's not bothering you, Mark. Uh, you and Dale must have sho uh, stole his new chairs. <laughs> and that was the whole thing that he was, uh, he was very upset about that. I don't know why this is happening. I, I truly don't. I don't, you know, part of me thinks that when SJWs get involved in tangling with Comicsgate, there must be some sort of uh, 4D chess going on. But I don't think that's the case here. Uh, I really just think Mark is, uh, uh, something's wrong. Mark, is anything wrong? You, if you want to talk, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to uh, to counsel you in any way, <laughs> in any way that you need. Uh, everybody, you know, kind of uh, gets angry with me and treats me as though uh, I am the father that they disappointed in their life. Anyway, so what's uh, what's one more of those? Uh, feel free to let me know if I can help. Thanks everybody for watching this video. I just this stuff just goes on. Man, Twitter is a gold mine. It is really really fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, leave a like. Share this video, of course, and then also subscribe to this channel. And um, go back Cyberfrog again. I'm working on the comic right now. Back the uh, new Cyberfrog Dark Harvest campaign and pick up, uh, look at this, Battle Damage Cyberfrog. He's got a stinger through his head. Look at that, all covered in blood. Battle Damage Cyberfrog action figure. These are coming in pretty soon, and we'll be shipping them out. You can still reserve yours uh, on the Electric Blue Cyberfrog variant action figure campaign. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you again soon with another video. <laughs> Take care. Hey, come follow me on Twitter, at Ethan Van Skyver.